Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today hey folks today join me as I show you how to make cornbread in your waffle maker stay tuned guys this is gonna be fun all right guys the recipe that I'm gonna be using today is a secret family recipe okay and I keep it hidden right here I think it's in this cabinet let's open it up yep there's a recipe right there guys written right here so it's a secret family recipe in my dad's handwriting it takes three cups of cornmeal that's cornmeal mix two eggs two cups of milk and a hair over a third of a cup okay now don't ask me what kind of hair it could be a gray hair it could be a a, a dark hair girl's hair guy's hair i don't know it's just a hair over okay so there you go. This usually will fill up a nine by 13 pan, or it works perfectly to fill up my 11 inch cast iron skillet. Sometimes I'll make it in the, in the oven, but today we're gonna make it in the waffle iron. So stay tuned. All right, over here on the counter, guys, we got all the supplies and necessary tools that we're gonna need to do this job. First of all, we got this waffle maker right here. It's right over here in the corner here, kind of in the, side of the screen there but we're gonna go ahead and plug it in i just plugged it in and we're gonna let it warm up okay it's got a little yellow light on there and when the green light lights up she's ready for cooking okay we have some spray cooking spray that we are going to spray on there before we actually put the mixture in there so right over here i got three cups of cornmeal mix already in my mixing pan okay Right here I have two eggs that I am going to scramble up with a fork right quick. So I'm going to go ahead and scramble these bad boys up. I don't know where my little scrambling thing is, but a fork works just as good. Make sure y'all can see that right quick. Can y'all see that in the camera? Oh yeah, you can. Alright, so we're going to mix this up right quick. Two eggs. Let's go ahead and do that the best we can. All right, let's go ahead and pour that on in there. And we need two cups of milk, okay? Two cups of milk. Go ahead and pour that in there. There's one. There is two, okay. Two cups of milk. Now we need a third of a cup, actually a hair over a third of a cup of, I'm going to use vegetable oil, you could probably use canola oil if you wanted to, any type of oil like that, so we're going to do a third of a cup, like so, that's a third, and then we're just going to add just a little extra right there, that'll all be a hair over right there. Okay, guys, that's all the ingredients there. Let me go grab something and we're going to mix this up right quick. All right, I found this little tool here. I'm not sure what you call it. I think you call it a whisk or something like that. Anyway, we're going to start mixing this stuff up with this until it gets to a nice, even consistency. So I won't bore you with all of this. I'll go ahead and cut the film off and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay guys, I got all this stuff mixed up here, but you know what? I'm not too happy with it. It's kind of runny, okay? It's a little bit too runny. Now this works great if you're putting it in a pan or something like that. Put, put it in your cast iron pan. I mean, it works great because you're just going to pour it in there. But to make good waffles, it's got to have a little bit of thickness to it, okay? Because when you pour it in there, you want it to rise up enough to where when that other griddle goes down on there, that it can make an impression in that too. So, uh... Here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more. I got a little bit more of this cornmeal mix left to it. I should have left some of the milk out is what I should have done until I got the consistency right. But I'm going to go ahead and add. I think it'll take all that and that'll pretty much empty that little container out. But then, so that's probably about another half a cup or so. And that might be enough right there. Oh yeah, that's looking better right there. Okay. So there you go guys, if you're gonna make this recipe, I would probably either just leave a little bit of the milk out, or 
add a little bit of extra um, cornmeal mix to it. I'd say about three and a half cups instead of three. And actually I've got some regular old yellow cornmeal here. I was gonna add that to it if I needed to. But that right there, that might do pretty good right there. Cause that's about the consistency of my waffles when I make waffles. And uh, I mean, I don't like to brag, but I think I'm a pretty good waffle maker. My daughter will tell you, she says she likes my waffles, but uh, I like to get the batter about like that. Maybe even just a hair thicker before it goes in there. But I think we're just gonna leave it just like that. And when this thing gets warmed up, we will pour it in there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. We're getting ready to uh, make our first cornbread waffle here. Folks, I will tell you, this is actually my first time doing the cornbread. And uh, I know there's a restaurant here in town that someone was telling me about that makes this. Now, go ahead and spray your waffle iron with a cooking spray. It's going to make cleanup a lot easier, okay? We're going to make one big old scoop. We're going to plop him right there in the middle. Ooh, I can already hear that. I'm going to make them just a little bit bigger. I might make three cornbread waffles out of this. Okay. I think this is going to be good. That's, that's looking like the perfect consistency there. We're going to drop it down. And we're going to let her cook for a little while. We'll take a look at it in a minute. All right. It's starting to smell good in here, folks. Let's take a look at our cornbread. As you can see, it is starting to brown there. But I like some good brown crust on mine, so we're going to lower it back down and let it cook a little while longer. We'll check again here in a little bit, but it sure is smelling good. I, I'm, I'm ready for some cornbread and milk. All right, guys, let's take a peek here. Let's open this sucker up. Mm-hmm. I believe that's about like I like it. See the nice brown, crusty crust on there? That's going to be some good cornbread there. All right, let's see if we can pull this off. Look, that's nice and firm. More firm than a... Uh, that a waffle. I'll tell you what, it smells delicious, okay? All right. So guys, we're gonna keep on cooking along and cook up the rest of our batter, and I'll let you know how much it makes, and we'll keep stacking them on this plate, so stay tuned. We've already sprayed our pan again. Let's go ahead and put us some more batter on here, and I might actually make this one a little bit bigger, make it where it fills up all four of the corners here I'll show you how I do that I'm pretty good at doing that guys I probably know more about making waffles than anybody I know of haha ha, that's supposed to be funny all right so let's see that might make it spread all the way to the corner here all right let's lower that one down and let that one cook All right, let's see what our second waffle looks like. All right, that's looking good. I made that one a little bit bigger. I put a little bit more material in there. So we're gonna lower the lid and let it cook a while. We still got a little bit more batter left too over here to make a little baby one. All righty, waffle, waffle cornbread number two coming off of here, guys. Let's just, ooh, that in there stayed together pretty good. All right. That one looks good, nice and brown. Guys, I've already taste tested this thing too. I'll have to go ahead and confess that to you. And this is very good stuff, very good. Let's go ahead and lube it up one more time. And we got one more. This is not even gonna make one the size of the other ones, but we're just gonna put everything we got on there. And we'll call this the baby one. Get that down there, and we will cook him up too. So guys, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and butter your cornbread right when it come off of there if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that because I'm actually going to eat mine with some, uh, I might have some cornbread and milk here in a little bit, and I'm also going to have some uh, cornbread with some beans tonight. So stay tuned. I'll get this one here done. We'll do a little taste test. All right, folks, time for a little taste test here, okay? I've already tasted it, but anyway, I want you to look at it. Look at that. Nice brown crust on both sides, done all the way through. Simply delicious, okay? If you are a big fan of the crust on cornbread, 
and you think that that's the best part, you're gonna love cooking it this way, okay? And I'm also, I got some milk here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of milk in here. My dad grew up eating cornbread and milk. That was pretty much a staple in his family. They had five boys and they, uh, I guess back in the day, you had to, took a whole lot to feed five boys, okay? So cornbread and milk was something that they had quite often. My dad still enjoys it. And I'm probably gonna bring some of this down to him tomorrow, or I might just bring the stuff down there and make him some so it's nice and hot. But that is good. And my daughter likes cornbread and milk. She will definitely, when she comes back home, she's gonna love this. Cause we talked about doing this a while, while back, but never did. But I decided today, it's time to do it. I got a pot of beans I'm gonna be eating tonight. This is definitely worth it, guys. If you have a waffle maker, the next time you make some cornbread, do it in the waffle maker. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.